Hey, this is Ryan from WebEminence.com. In this video, I'm looking at an important tool within your AdWords account that you can use to uh, compare your performance with other advertisers. So uh, this is uh, the Auction Insights Report. And a lot of people probably aren't even using or um, don't even know that this report exists. And even if you have an agency or individual managing your AdWords account, uh, there's probably a good chance they're not even looking at the Auction Insights report or showing it to you. Uh, for the clients whose accounts I manage, I try to look at the Auctions Insights report about quarterly, and I definitely show it to my um, clients as well just for their information. So for those of you who aren't seeing it, you should ask your um, account manager to, to show it to you once in a while. You can also look at it within your own AdWords account, so I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So I'm here in an AdWords account and to get to the Auction Insights report, you would start from uh, the Campaigns tab typically. You could also do it from Ad Groups, I believe. Yeah, you can choose Ad Groups and look at Auction Insights, but a lot of times you'll look at Campaigns. And if you have different business segments in your AdWords account, you probably wouldn't want to mix them up by uh, clicking Details and selecting All. That'll give you a report on all of your campaigns so if they're different businesses or products or services you may want to just select a specific campaign like I'm doing here and then click on details and then on under auction insights click on selected uh, rather than all that'll just show me the data for um, this specific campaign so the auction insights report uh, may scare some people away because it's just a table full of data it's not real sexy or exciting, so a lot of people probably don't spend time looking at it, but it can give you some valuable information about your competitors. It's important to understand what it is and what it is not. It's really just an estimate of statistical data using a sample of impressions. So it's important to note uh, this number up here. It's saying 16% of available impressions. So it's only using 16% of the available impressions within your account. And uh, it's been kind of a mystery to me as to why the number is so low. I haven't found a good answer. If uh, you're watching this video, you know the answer. Uh, feel free to, uh, to comment on the video. But I have seen some different reasons. And, and one reason might be that you're, you're not in a very competitive niche. So you might be um, showing a lot of impressions or receiving a lot of impressions where you're the only ad showing. And in that case, there's no competitive data. So this number might be lower. I mean, I've seen it at 1% but it's often higher. So the higher the number, the better. But I wouldn't worry about it too much. Just understand that this is um, statistical data. Some of it is based on estimates, and um, it's not a complete view of what your competitors are doing. This report is only showing data on impressions you're receiving. So for example, Squarespace is one of the top competitors in this campaign of mine but it's not showing me things they may be advertising for, impressions they may be getting that I'm not. It's only showing information when they're overlapping my ad. It also says right here this information is based on Google search traffic for the date range you selected, so it's important to select different date ranges. I'm using 30 days. You could go as far back as a year maybe just to look at uh, more data for the whole year. If you were to do like seven days or one day, it probably would tell you there's not enough data, so you need to use a long enough time period to get data to uh, populate the table. So with all those disclaimers out of the way, here is the data I'm just going to show you. Uh, I'm just going to explain the six columns that are available to you uh, if you're looking at a search network campaign. If you're in a shopping campaign, it, it'll show a little bit less information. Um, so on the left is the URLs of your competitors. Um, on here somewhere you'll see you. Uh, which is your website. So my impression share is showing as uh, 49. And if it's sorted by impression share, you'll usually be at the top, which is the default sorting. Uh, so I'm receiving 49% of the impressions that I'm eligible to receive. And then usually you'll just want to look at the other top impression share URLs here just to get a good idea of your competition. If they're less than 10, like these down here, they may not be a really good or a useful URL to look at for competition. You'll usually see a few at the top that are overlapping the most with you or getting the highest impression share. The next column is average position, which just tells you the average position that someone is showing up in the ad rankings. 
So it's to one decimal place here. So obviously there's no 2.9 position, but this uh, Shopify.com is averaging between maybe two and three. So it just gives you the average over time. The overlap rate is how many times this URL is overlapping or showing at the same time as your ad. And you can scroll over any of these uh, question mark icons just to get a quick definition of uh, what that column is. So this says they received an impression in the same auction that your ad also received an impression. And also keep in mind you can head over to the AdWords help documents and search for auction insights and you'll get this document here. Here they give a description of each of the six columns as well and some other information about the auction insights report. Next one is position above rate and this says it's how often an advertiser's ad in the same auction shows in a higher position than your own. So this is really useful because you can see when your competitors are showing above you. So Shopify overlaps with me 38, 39% of the time. And when they overlap, they're above me 66.7% of the time. The top of page rate is a percentage of how often the um, ads are at the top of the page for the specific advertiser. So you are at the top right now or I am in this uh, table and I'm showing at the top of the page 42% of the time and you can see some of the advertisers are showing at the top of the page more often than I am. So outranking share is the last column and it shows you as a percentage how often uh, as it says here your ad ranked higher in the auction than another advertiser or if it showed when theirs didn't. So this is important because sometimes people will try to add these up and you know make it 100% but it doesn't quite work that way because outranking share actually in includes uh, the times when your ad showed and the competitor didn't. So it won't show a number for your uh, line here, for your row, but it will uh, show for everyone else. So in this case, uh, I outranked Shopify.com 36.28% of the time and that means I either showed above them or I showed uh, and received impressions for auctions when they did not receive Im impressions. So that could be for keywords that you're targeting that this specific competitor isn't targeting or just they're not uh, getting impressions for one reason or another. So that's considered outranking them. So that's pretty much all there is to the auction insights report. It's pretty simple but has some useful information in it. You can of course sort it by these different columns which will kind of give you some different information. I think impression share is typically the most important, but uh, you know, you could do it by top of page rate. Um, you could do it by position above and just see the people who are showing above you a lot of the time. But like I said before, if their impression share is under 10%, you know, and they're over only overlapping you 4.21% of the time, it's just not uh, that important to look at them. So you're probably better off sorting by impression share just to get some of your uh, top competitors. So again, this report is not something you probably need to look at daily, weekly, or even monthly, uh, but you probably will want to check on it at least once a year, maybe three or four times a year, just to get a sense of what your competitors are doing, because that will change over time. I mean, your competitors can be changing things, new competitors can be entering uh, your market, so you want to get a sense of what people are doing, and it's going to help you understand how you might be able to grow uh, your volume and compete better in AdWords. If you're... Uh, using a, a client manager or an agency and you're not seeing this report, maybe just uh, be a good idea to ask them if you can see your auction insights report. If you're looking for someone to manage your account for you, uh, you can definitely check out my service. I'm taking a limited number of clients, uh, but I'll provide a link so you can check out my service and I definitely provide this report to my clients at least four times a year. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, please like it if uh, you found it useful and then subscribe. I'm definitely going to be doing some more AdWords videos in the near future to help you out with your uh, marketing. So good luck. We'll see you on the next video.